Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on this edition of Ravens Rundown, powered by Chat Sports. We are talking five burning questions for your Baltimore Ravens with free agency set to begin on Monday. I have some thoughts, concerns, among other things, for your Baltimore Ravens about what they're going to do when it comes to free agency of players they're going to retain or move on from, new ones they'll bring in. We'll go over all of that and more coming up in just a moment. Let's start off with our first question. Beginning with Patrick Queen. Is Patrick Queen gone? Has he played his last game for the Baltimore Ravens? And if so, is Trenton Simpson ready to take over for him in that spot, or are they going to bring in a veteran or draft somebody else to potentially replace Patrick Queen? Patrick Queen coming off the best season of his career in 2023 as he had a career high of 133 tackles, nine tackles for loss, three and a half sacks, and one forced fumble. He was named a second-team All-Pro, a pro bowler, but ultimately the Ravens decided to franchise tag Justin Matabike, making Patrick Queen available to sign with any team in free agency. And with all the free agents and the lack of cap space, it seems unlikely that Patrick Queen, at least at the moment anyway, is coming back to the Baltimore Ravens. Now, Trenton Simpson, who is the favorite to take that spot, didn't do a whole lot in 2023. He only had 13 tackles and 15 games played with two tackles for loss and one sack and kind of looked like a deer in headlights at times on the football field. Not saying that he won't develop and turn into a good football player, but we didn't really see a whole lot last year out of Trenton Simpson to give us confidence that he's going to be this great player. Maybe he will be but the jury's still out on that. So what do you guys think? Will the Ravens, or should they rather, re-sign Patrick Queen? Should they find a way to bring him back? It's our pin comment today. Weigh in, tell us what you think. Why for yes, in for no, weigh in. Question numero two. Are the Ravens going to go through with signing a blue chip running back? And if so, who will it be? We have been told for weeks on end, that Eric DaCosta and the Ravens staff are doing their homework and looking at bringing in a big-name running back this offseason with J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards heading to, towards free agency, and we've seen the revolving door at that position with the injuries that have been endured over the last couple of years. It seems like the only running back that we know for certain is coming back next year is Keaton Mitchell, who had a terrific year as a UDFA and really just cemented his place on this Ravens roster for a long time. But who's going to join him? Well, it is as good of a free agent running back class as we've seen in a very long time with plenty of options out there from Saquon Barkley of the New York Giants to Josh Jacobs, Derek Henry, Tony Pollard, Austin Eckler, DeAndre Swift, Zach Moss. There's J.K. Dobbins along with Devin Singletary and Antonio Gibson. The favorite appears to be Derrick Henry. He's the one that is getting talked about the most, but Saquon Barkley is an attractive player when it comes to his abilities, not just as a runner, but a pass catcher as well. And then there's Josh Jacobs, who's probably the best of those three running backs right now. So, you know, I I'm, I'm hopeful that the Ravens are going to sign one of these big-name running backs. I would like to see it happen. I think it would be great for Lamar to have an elite running back to work with. But it's kind of one of those deals, too, where I still need to see it to believe it, right? We've been down this road before. We are wondering, hey, are they going to finally make that big splash? And then they didn't do it. So who is the running back that you'd like to see the Ravens sign? Well, in the comment section, give us a name that comes to mind that you'd like to see them add. Got a great deal that we're offering Ravens fans right now. For a limited time, we have hats on sale for up to 50% off with free shipping as well. And you see we got the uh, old school logo version. We got the flat bill. Uh, a number of different options besides just the ones you're seeing on your screen right now. Free shipping on some of the hats up to 50% off. 
Go check out for yourself and see the full collection of Ravens hats that we have for you. Chatsports.com slash Ravens hats is the place to go and see for yourself. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Hats for up to 50% off plus free shipping. Chatsports.com slash Ravens hats to get yours today. Question three. What will the Ravens receiver room look like in 2024? Lamar Jackson clearly needs another piece to work with. If the Ravens are going to take the next step of sorts in the passing game, they need to get Lamar a little bit more help. You got Zay Flowers, of course, coming off a fantastic rookie season. Nelson Aguilar is back, but OBJ's hitting free agency. Rashad Bateman, the Ravens, we've heard from John Harbaugh and company, they have high expectations for him uh, in his fourth season, a contract year. But who are some of the other options out there that they could potentially snag up of veteran options? Uh, Calvin Ridley from the Jacksonville Jaguars. You could take a gamble on him. Uh, Josh Reynolds from Detroit is a possibility. Maybe an old friend like uh, Marquise Brown. We talked about that on the channel earlier this week. Maybe you bring Hollywood back after a disappointing two seasons in Arizona. Gabe Davis is an option. Darnell Moody. Tyler Boyd, uh, OBJ, it seems like it's a long shot, the idea of bringing him back right now, but that kind of remains to be seen. Not impossible yet. Curtis Samuels there in Washington, DJ Chark in Carolina, KJ Osborne at Minnesota. There's plenty of options out there. Let's see what the Ravens do, or do they go young with uh, a fantastic receiver class in this year's draft uh, when you're talking about guys that will be available when they pick at 30 from Keon Colvin to Adonai Mitchell, uh, you know, a, a number of guys, Xavier Worthy. So we'll see. I expect the Ravens to invest in this position. We'll just see how they do it. Question number four. Will the Ravens get a long-term deal done with Justin Metabike? Because if they don't, if they don't do it now and let the season play out, I can tell you this right now, folks. It's going to cost more later. You're just kicking the, the, the can down the curb um, and I think Metabike is going to have another fantastic year, and his price will go up even further. I think it's vital. It's very important that the Ravens get this deal done with Metabike now. You got the franchise tag, and that's great that you took care of him there, that you got him franchise tagged. But you need to take care of that long-term contract. That way, when he goes off and has a great season again, then you're not spending even more money that the price doesn't jump up significantly again. Uh, this past year was incredible. 13 sacks, two forced fumbles. It was a career year for him. His grades, according to PF, were all, PFF, were all solid as well. 75.1 overall. Pass rush grade was really good. The thing with Matt BK too, is he does everything well, right? He's a good pass rusher. He's good at stopping the run. Uh, I, I like what he brings to the table, and, and he's a guy that – should be around for a very long time. It's one of the core pieces of this defense. Eric DaCosta, last offseason, remember the Lamar Jackson situation where they uh, franchise tag Lamar, and then they had a deal done on draft day in April. I think that the Ravens probably should move pretty quick to get something done with Matt BK long term. Let's ask you, give us your prediction. Will the Ravens get a long-term deal done with Justin Matt BK? If you think they will, type S for sign. If not, type P for pass. Weigh in. Tell us what you think. Question number five, our final question on today's show. What direction are the Baltimore Ravens going to go when it comes to a backup quarterback? Will Tyler Huntley return? Will Josh Johnson return? Or will they go grab a veteran or draft somebody? Because what we had, were told was that going into last season, offensive coordinator Todd Munkin was not a fan of Tyler Huntley at all. And Josh Johnson didn't even see the field last year. And Huntley, I'll say this much, I know that there's the people draw the comparisons to Lamar, saying that he's a good backup because he plays a similar style to Lamar, but with what Todd Munkin wants to do with this offense, that doesn't really fit Tyler Huntley's skill set. They can do better than Tyler Huntley. And then when it comes to Josh Johnson, Josh Johnson looked really good in the preseason last year. Uh, he got more snaps than any other quarterback in the preseason, but yet still didn't see the field. And with the number of teams that Josh Johnson has been a part of throughout his career, we, we kind of know who he is. He's not going to be any better 
than, than what we've seen on the football field. So with that said, what could they do instead if they were to go another direction for a backup quarterback? Ryan Tannehill's out there. I don't expect Tannehill to be a starter next season. I think he'll be a backup somewhere. Gardner Minshew's a possibility. He did a really good job filling in for Anthony Richardson this past year in Indianapolis. Jameis Winston. I love me some Jameis Winston. Uh, Jameis would be a character and would be very interesting to have around and I think would fit more what Todd Munkin wants to do offensively. Jacoby Brissett from Washington, although there's speculation, sounds like he could end up in New England. And then there's Tyrod Taylor, Tarod Taylor, whatever he wants to be called from the uh, New York Giants. He's a possibility as well. So there's plenty of options out there. Uh, maybe you even draft a quarterback potentially, a young quarterback to sit behind Lamar Jackson. But uh, I'm very intrigued because there's not a clear answer what exactly they're going to do just yet. So with that in mind, with free agency starting on Monday, who's a player that the Ravens should ultimately sign? Give us your uh, predictions in the comments section of somebody you'd like to see, whether it's at quarterback, running back, receiver, uh, or elsewhere. Chime in the comments section. Give me a player that you'd like to see the Ravens at. Thanks for joining us here on today's show. You can follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Tyler Jones Live. I'm going to have updates throughout all of free agency over there. So lock me in and uh, check me out there on X. Give me a follow there. And uh, we will see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown. An exciting couple days ahead. Keep it tuned right here to Ravens Rundown. We'll see you next time.